In the current issue of BRM, you might have noticed Michael Russell's excellent techniques on how you can create a rock face on your layout. Now, you can take this a step further, and that's by including a waterfall. Granted, not everybody's going to need one of those on their layouts, but they do, as you've seen from the footage just shown, make an excellent feature and something that looks, well, totally different than <clears throat> if you're modeling a specific area of the country, can look quite authentic as well. So I'm going to show you a technique in the studio here on how you can add a waterfall to your layout with very little hassle. And here's one I've made earlier. You can see here, just rotating it to the right, we've got two large blocks of foam, and over it, just a little bit of uh, rough plaster bandage. And that's been carved with a little bit of plaster on top, and then just scrunched up in the odd area here and there to create the odd bit of rock. And then after that, I've gone over with some filler, painted it with a selection of paints, which are from Life Color, so we've got a choice here. Um, mostly North European dark mud for reference. A little bit of dark mould because wherever there's water you will get mould and those green hues as you've seen in the footage previously. Uh, a little bit of brown green there going on and some lime green. Now these can all be bought in Life Colours weathering packs, uh, specifically uh, the mould and dark mould colours and especially the mud colours you can get in a separate mud weathering pack. Anyway, that's what I've done to create the basis for that. Over this, though, you'll notice there's a little bit of vegetation. Now, all of this needs to be put in place before you start adding the water onto your layout. And that's because, well, as you'd guess, the water is going to make its way down the surface. You're going to need to think about where you're going to flow your water over the rock face before you actually add your vegetation. Obviously, you're not going to get anything growing in the right in the middle of a, uh, a pool of water because it would be eroded away. So. First things first, let's show you what I used to do the vegetation. These are some little packs, you can buy them from Polak model. And these are uh, some of its autumnal colours, obviously. I don't want this to be sort of tip-top midsummer with all the vibrant greens. Just for a bit of variety, I thought I'd do something in this sort of autumn, early perhaps onset of winter, so that we can get some nice sort of, perhaps later on, frosty effects with the water. But for now, we're just going to concentrate on the waterfall. So the waterfall, what does it consist of? Well, obviously water. But the trouble to get this looking authentic on a model has always been the challenge of getting it to pour in an accurate manner. Some people on layouts I've even seen have used real water pumped from a little device. But it just doesn't flow like the real thing. And I think it looks much better on a model when it's static, just like you would have with the rest of the scenery. And it just so happens that Deluxe Materials produces such a product called Scenic Fibres. Now, Scenic Fibres is essentially, as you can see inside the pack there, all bundled up, a series of fibres that you can cut to length, and when added over with its other product, which is Making Waves, you can create a solidified waterfall that you can then cut to shape, trim, and add in place on your diorama or your layout. So let's get started. First things first. I'm going to need to plan out how much I'm going to need in terms of fibres to add to this rock face. Now, we're looking here roughly at a drop of around 15 centimetres or so, but I've made it slightly interesting because you can see at the top here, we've got a little bit of a, a gouged out area here where perhaps the water's, you know, eroded its way through the rock, then takes a little bit of a, a curve round here, drops into this sort of first pool down the face and then we'll drop into a second pool at the bottom here and then from then then onwards perhaps flows a little bit over around some of these rocks so the plastic sheet is here to protect the surface what we want to do is create a solidified section of water with the making waves and the scenic fibers that we can then later peel off easily and then glue straight into place on the diorama and the last thing i want it to do is glue to our tables so Sometimes you can use, as the manufacturer recommends, some Vaseline. Apply that to your workbench, apply your scenic fibres to it, then go over with the making waves, wait for it all to dry, and then peel it off. But it makes it very messy. So I'm just going to experiment with some of this plastic sheet. And if it doesn't work, then, well, don't copy me. There's enough product here to go at for, well, many a waterfall. But you don't necessarily need to use this to create a waterfall. You can imagine perhaps there's a pipe coming out of an industrial unit and there's a bit of water flowing into a sort of a gully or a reservoir or maybe even a ditch. 
doesn't necessarily need to be something overly dramatic. So let's just line this up on our diorama and get a rough feel for how much we're going to need in length. So I'd say, I'd say that's about the right length to about there. Let's get cutting that with a pair of scissors. No specialist tools required. Put the rest aside. And then we're just going to thin this out a bit. We don't want too much because it's not going to be a gushing waterfall. It's just going to be something that's just trickling down the hillside there. Uh, see how that looks roughly for length. You'll note that there's lots of little bits that will come off the side at different angles, but once we start applying the uh, making waves over it, this will all sort of solidify and we'll be able to brush that into something that looks relatively good. So, so straight down on the plastic sheet. Let's crack open this making waves. Now applying making waves is really straightforward and much easier than you'd think. Just start from one end and work your way across using the product and any loose fibres you'll be able to remove later on. Now once completely solidified you'll be able to cut it with an ordinary pair of household scissors and adjust the width accordingly. Every once in a while I find it helps just to align things up to the diorama and make sure it fits before gluing into place with a little super glue. Once you're entirely happy with the shape of your waterfall, you'll be able to glue the top into place and then proceed onto the lower area. Now for this I'm cutting it a little wider, you can do this entirely as it suits you and uh, you'll note this on here, I'm starting from the top this time, working my way down because we can always hide the bottom with more of the Making Waves product. I've actually cut a little V in here into the bottom, you'll note, just to create a little variety. So with the structure now in place, it's time to start loading this waterfall up with more of the making waves. Now you'll note that we've glued it, like I said, the other way around, so we've got the product that we applied to the underside of it now securely in place and hidden, and all these loose fibres over the top which will now coat, not only with a paintbrush using the making waves product, but also with a little syringe. Now this is part of Deluxe Materials um, syringe kits, you can pick this up at your local model shop or alternatively inquire with the likes of Gauge Master or direct on Deluxe Materials website. And we can use this to apply the product in thin little streaks down the sides to create that illusion of the water actually pouring as it does in the flows. So let's just use a sort of combination of these two products. We'll start with the top of the paintbrush. I really want to stipple this area to create that illusion of sort of choppy water just before it hits this little waterfall and perhaps at the bottom here as well. And for the uh, waterfall itself, we'll use the syringe product. Let's test it all out and see how I get on. So 48 hours later and we're now back in the studio. The white gloss paint that I had applied over this has now completely dried. You can see we've now got some more sort of ripply effects going on up there. A little bit of white water as well. And um, I just highlighted some areas at the bottom as well where there's a bit of froth going on there. Anyway, if you'd like to get hold of these two products, Scenic Fibres and Making Waves from Deluxe Materials, visit your local Deluxe Materials stockist. And don't forget that of course this product doesn't necessarily need to be used to create just waterfalls, you can also create overflowing pipes, all sorts of different things, you name it. Chances are if you want it to stick vertically, then this is the best product for you. So, there you go, give it a go and uh, show us some of your results. <laughs>